All right, we got a minor situation, people. Our Arctic tracking station hasn't filed a report in over a week. They're not responding to our calls, and I'm worried. It's probably nothing more than a little equipment malfunction. But I need someone to go up there and check it out. Simple enough. By the way, we ran a check on the man renting that apartment. Andrews is his name. L.B. Andrews. Professor of Archaeology at Columbia University. His specialty is pre-Columbian society. The statuette you recovered? Our experts figure it's of Olmec origin, third or fourth century at the early. Thought you might want to know. So who's it going to be for the Arctic job? The chopper's waiting. Nasty little toy. Nothing like a nice bracing wind to make you feel alive. Gentlemen? Well, what are you waiting for? A formal invitation? This is not working. Saturday, September 7, 0600. We've been at it all night, but still no luck fixing the radio. What with Jackson and Mars gone, we've got no technical help to speak of. We've been trying to stick together, but somehow... Where have you gone, fun guys? Night. That brings the total to nine, with only four of us left. I've been holding out, but this, this sickness, whatever it is, is finally catching up on me. I've decided to check myself into the infirmary. At this point, Doc's our only hope. Something better come up in those tests of his, or, or well, God help us. I've got to have a talk with Zed. I'm getting too old for these ice jobs. All right, sweethearts, I'm coming in. Nasty little toy. Dearest Marge, has it been three months or three years? God, I miss you. I'd say the nights are long without you, but that's ridiculous seeing how it's all one long night here. The only thing I think about is getting out of here, and all that keeps me going is knowing that when I get out of this icebox, you'll be mine forever. Please send another one of those scented letters. The guys gave me grief about it, but they're just jealous. If I close my eyes, I can pretend you're right here beside me. I don't mean to alarm you, but there's been some strange stuff going on up here. Remember I told you about that guy Dibbler, the radio operator from Reno? Well, he's gone missing. Just plain vanished. 
Some of the guys think he walked off into the snow, but it doesn't make any sense. Just the other night we talked and he said he couldn't wait to get back. Said he had enough money to buy the Jeep he'd been saving for. He was so excited about getting back, it doesn't make sense. Things are kind of tense. We're working extra shifts because some of the guys are sick. There's some kind of flu going around, but don't worry, I'm taking those super vitamins you sent. Know that I think of you every minute of this never-ending day. Love always, Jeff. I'll take that. partner, and I'm not ready for that trip. Cold and dark, it's officially perfect. No vegetarians on this crew. Foxtrot Tango Tango, this is Gnome Base. We copy your distress signal. Repeat, we copy your distress signal. We advise we're initiating rescue protocol. Expect emergency transport within 24. Give me a break, would you? Little pig, little pig, Hello? let me in. Doc? Today I doubled the dosage of Zalcitabine on the chief. Though he has proven remarkably resistant to the virus, I'm afraid his symptoms are far too advanced, and as of yet I can find nothing to slow the progress of the virus eating away at his body.
No, no, that's mine. Mine. Put it down. Take it easy, pal. I'm with the agent. My recommendation, hey. Doc. Plenty of rest. Today, for the first time, I noticed a minor discoloration on my chest. What I had been fearing has come too soon. From the little I know of the disease, I estimate I have a day at the most before I succumb like the others. Without the proper equipment, my crude preliminary tests have proven inconclusive yet remarkable. Somehow, whatever it is, this plague finds its way into the bloodstream, once there invades the reverse transcriptase enzyme, altering its configuration, causing an immediate and irreversible transformation of the body at the cellular level, a gradual liquefaction of the organs. There's nothing like it in any of the books. My toxicity tests on water and food supply have proved negative, leading me to believe that the active agent must be transmitted either via direct personal contact or even possibly airborne transmission. However, the tests are still inconclusive. so tired. Showtime. Nothing is what it seems. Somebody's up to no good down here. 